the 53rd edition of Paris Air Show. And the air show is about to start at around 2 p.m. in the afternoon. And today is day one. What an exciting, beautiful day in Paris. So now they're towing the Barrier F200.
Welcome to sunny Paris Air Show. Now behind me is the ATR 72 600 series delivering to Silver Airways in the US. So the plane is not painted in silver though, it's pink. Um, very interesting, I want to go inside, have a look why this is the world's best selling turboprop. Look at these LED lightings and uh, big beans. It fits two of these, I'm impressed for turboprop size like this. I don't have to duck. A lot of props when I come in, I used to duck. A lot of regional jets as well. This one is slightly taller than me, so I can walk straight with my head. So here you will enjoy 18 inches wide seat. So 18 inch wide. 18 inches wide uh, between mm -hmm. armrests. What makes ATR difference to all the other competitors, turboprops like I know there's Bombardier, Saab and all that. What's your winning strategy here? Well, uh, the ATR has the largest cabin space, largest cross-section, which uh, is giving more passenger experience compared to other turboprop aircraft. Okay, you're saying it's the cabin is wider? Yes, cabin is wider. We can have a wider seat and oh, we are... Uh, can we have are a conversation like this? Uh, we can even do this is like an ATR is uh, burning 40% less fuel and by consequences 40% less CO2 emissions. 40% less fuel in the same class of aircraft yeah. um, compared to a jet in terms of CO2 emission. That's what you mean. Yes. Okay, Sam, have a look at the window. Ah, I see it's a high wing aircraft. Yeah. And it has a lot of views. Yeah, and this is what we call actually our native in-flight entertainment. Native in-flight entertainment. Yeah, this is exactly what I do on planes. <laughs> I don't really watch movies, so I look out the windows and enjoy the views. The beauty of the earth, yeah. It's over yeah, Paris two days Paris. ago. Look at this. You can see the Eiffel Tower, and you cannot experience That's that. That's amazing. And this is Clear Vision EVS. Ah. So you can see the terrain. Yeah. You can see the mountains. It's a real vision, but that is improved. Thanks to the camera and some of the aircraft now. Yeah. Here they see the natural vision, it's very foggy outside and you cannot see the runway. EVS and its vision system and the combined vision system. And here you can see the mountains, you can see the runway. Oh. Wow, this is pretty good. This is really like landing in a blind spot. You can't see it, yeah. but from here, from the uh, clear vision system, you can see the runway and coming to land. Yeah. This is the latest Air Tahiti Dreamliner. Let's go in and have a look. Look at this, a Bora Bora painting on the wall when you just step in the door. This is the window size. Yes. Oh, very interesting. Which, uh, it's actually more impressive that the 777, which is a metal airplane, yeah. has this big of a window than ah. the 787 being even bigger, but it's a composite fuselage. Yeah take a lot more stress. Uh, All right, so 7A has the biggest window in commercial yeah. airplanes. What I like about on the Air Tahiti is they celebrate local arts. So this is a famous painting by the French Tahitian painter Paul Gauguin. The premium economy these days in airlines is a bit like a mini cabin. You have your own privacy and comfort. A little bit like a former business class. After premium economy, of course, is the main cabin. The bin is just super large and when it closed, it curved up so it created a good, good headroom. It feels spacious inside and also the dimmable window. This window, you can just press, in about a minute it will go light. Now, the 787 we just shown you is the biggest window actually compared to all the other types of airplane. Even it's dark, you can still see outside. The crew rest is right behind the cockpit here. It goes all the way up, I'm gonna show you. So this is two bunk here. Very nice, almost like a uh, hotel, almost like a capsule hotel style. Within this small space, there's also one extra seat here. So the pilot can do some reading or do some uh, entertainment. Okay. Good morning, my name is Greg Biak. I'm the 787 Boeing uh, Chief Test Pilot. Uh, what we have here are liquid crystal displays, very large displays. I put in a flight plan from La Bourget, which is, you can see on the left, and then all the way to Los Angeles International, which is displayed on the right. All of the information that's depicted in the HUD is also uh, shown uh, down there on my primary flight display. I visited the Airbus cockpit. They use the fly-by-wire, um, which you call a joystick, and, Airbus, and Boeing has this. 
really rigid um, control stick here. Why are we continue with this kind of control stick? Whether we chose to use the control column with the yoke or a side stick uh, controller, they're both fly-by-wire. The 787 is a fly-by-wire airplane. Hello, welcome at Asia. This is our first Saba 330neo. This, we just got on board. This is the new A330neo for Thai Air Asia. Yes. Yeah. Are you guys excited? You got new airplanes very to fly. Excited. Of course, we're very, very excited. excited. Wow. Similar is the XL seat exactly. in front. Yeah. But a little bit different for the seat. It just can go fully flat. Yeah, it's really like flat bed actually. Can I try? Or is can I try? Guys, I'm pretty privileged here. I'm the first guy yeah, sitting first. here. <laughs> Good stuff, low cost comfort. Front of the economy in the bulkhead and exit row, the seats are called hot seats. So, not because the seats are hot, but because the extra leg room on the seat here. So, the A330 has the uh, airspace cabin. See, the wall is a bit curved. So this is a slight improvement over the old version, giving you a little bit extra headroom on the A330neo. So on the 330neo, there's also a crew rest area. In case you don't know where it is, I'm gonna show you. When I open up this door, you can see. And on the 330neo, there's a huge rear galley. It's like a long shape here. So that's the new A330neo for AirAsia X. Let's go to the next plane. Your 321 is a winner. It's killing yes. the market. Yes. Every airline upsizing 320 to 321. Exactly, and we own 80% of the market. Exactly. Amazing, it's such a game changer for single aisle airplane for Airbus. Yeah. Just got on board this brand new A321neo, long range company, a French company, La Compagnie, and uh, you probably are familiar with they are flying between New York and Paris with single aisle transatlantic, all business class. Here's 76 seats across the whole cabin. So even from row one all the way down to row 20, all business class A321. So I think we will see a lot more single aisle airplane transatlantic. This is the trend at the moment. Who are you, the night owl or early bird? I want to show you the cool stuff. I've seen all these arts on the window. First time I've seen something like this. This is also a fairly good idea, fairly good creative. This perhaps is the future of flying. So it's actually, there's no pilot flying. It's a self-fly, um, almost like a drone kind of plane. Um, it's a test pilot project just to see whether you make economic sense, whether you get the popular acceptance from the general public. So Mitsubishi has rebranded their uh, MRJ into M90 and launching the M100. Behind me is the mock-up of M100 aircraft. So when you come inside, um, the first thing you'll notice is the shape of the fin. They're unique and they're different from any other uh, aircraft out there. So you see this concave shape that really opens up the cabin. Okay. This is a concave shape. Yeah, I look at this bin here. This is and quite then you have a very smooth transition compared yeah, to some of the other mm -hmm. aircraft. Like first class into yeah. economy. Yeah. Right. Two okay. US size roller bags. <laughs> Big suitcase, carry on suitcase can fit in. Interesting. I like the shape of it because it gives you a lot of headroom. Yeah. Mm. And uh, and if you're sitting down in for example in an economy class seat on the inboard seat. You have plenty of heads. Head. Oh yeah, even this comes down on me. I don't hit my head, right? right. Good. Excellent. It feels spacious. It's I'll very spacious. You. So you have an 18 and a half inch um, seat width. It's actually one of the most com uh, most spacious seats available um, on the regional jet. What's the difference between M90 and M100? So the M100 is specifically tailored for both the US and the global markets. So that in the United States there's the scope clauses. Um, scope clauses don't allow us to take off an aircraft more than 86,000 pounds of weight. So in order to carry 76 passengers three class, but with next generation technology, we've had to design this aircraft to fit within those constraints. Sky 
Matrix Airline of the Year 2019, Qatar Airways. We are going, going places, places together. together. Yay! Welcome on board our Airbus 351000. Let me introduce you to the Q Suite. So here we have uh, the best selling point from our 351000, the Quad, which is actually the possibility for four people, a family, friends to travel together. So let's say for example here a couple will be able to lay down, be in a flat bed while having the children just in front, maybe dining together, just watching a video. So this is like very convertible. In the beginning it's actually four individual Q suites and then we are putting all the panels down. Here these screens are opening but we always have the ability to close them and reopen them. So the options are really multiple, so we can make it three, we can make it two. And let me show you over there uh, the main purpose of the Q-Suite, so to share a meal. So this is our snack platter, it's a signature from the Q-Suite. So it's really the best example of a dining in the air, like in a proper restaurant, but actually going to your favorite destination. Q-Suite by Qatar Airways, so this is new, right? Yes, it's I need new. to have an update, I haven't flown Qatar for a while. Uh, we use less plastic. Uh, we are trying to cut down even more on that and uh, the portions are about 25% uh, bigger than they used to be. Okay, we so bigger meals and more environmental friendly stuff. That's correct. Beautiful economy class. Look at all these screens. This is a fabulous. The 350-1000 uh, Playdeck. 36 big screen uh, in the fly deck. All of them can be changed. For example, if I want this information in the middle, uh, it's very easy. A lot of things is digital. We don't have any more paper at all. If we fly at 41,000 feet as a passenger, you will feel like to be at 6,000. So you will be less tired after a long flight. There's one French airplane maker I have to see here, it's the Dassault, Dassault Aviation. And today Dassault is launching the 6X mock-up cabin of their super new, super mid-sized long-range private jet. So with me is Jim, and Jim's gonna show us the interior of 6X. First time ever in a corporate jet, we wanted to find a way to make the galley area of the plane a little bit more friendly, a little bit better lighting. We might even see the northern lights yeah, flying right, through. Lights. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing, look at this. A stone, marble stone, and the walkway of the airplane. This is upscale, this is wide and very spacious. Big windows as well, I mean, how about, how about this 104 inches wide, uh -huh. six foot six tall. It's really? the largest cross section in business jet aviation history. And you really get Say a sense again, of it. it is the biggest? It is the largest cross section of a fuselage in aviation and business jet history. Desso does a wonderful job of laying out the lounge area with the, with the windows. The second section of the airplane is this beautiful dining area. And I, I want to show you something unique if you maybe take one of those seats. Yep. One of the nice things about having the big fuselage is now I can sit mm -hmm. very comfortably across from the dining table. And now from you know going from just four people eating dinner or having a conference or playing cards, whatever it might be, 3,900 feet. 3,900 feet mm -hmm. cabin altitude. Wow. I always love planes first of all, wide. Yeah. And also I like planes wide and long and far. Yeah. It's 6X is fitting into what exactly I like. How fast does a 6X go? We fly as fast as Mach 90. Mach 90, wow. Yeah. Nine ten of the speed of sound. Yeah, that is fast. That's exactly right. The aft compartment here, this is it's like a little stateroom. Nice. And uh, oh, you'll find that the, like this. the divans will come together. This will make a queen size bed. Queen size so bed. They, so they join together. They join together. Excellent. Very comfortable for sleeping. What's the price tag of such a luxury super mid sized jet here? Well, we're very lucky to offer the Falcon 6X for an introductory price of about 47 million in today's dollars. Hopefully one day, Aerosam Tree. This idea is not that far away. Maybe we can own one Dassault 6X. And when you make a big cross section for the people who fly in the back, the benefit for the pilots is it's also a big cross section. So we're going to make oh. the chair so that they can recline. You guys think about the crew as well. Here's a quick summary of the 53rd Paris Air Show. Airbus 
so far have launched the A321 extra long range. Now on the Boeing side, 777X engine has been identified a wear problem on the front compressor. So the engine needs to be redesigned and this will delay the 777X. A Boeing came out and saying the new 797 or the NMA, the new middle range airplane is still under assessment. There will be no decision made this year on that. They focus their energy on fixing the 737 MAX issue. CEO of Boeing Commercial Kevin McAllister saying um, any lesson from the 737 MAX crisis will be applied to the 777X to any future aircraft program as well and it is a lesson learned from the Boeing side. Well I hope you enjoy the Paris Air Show and all the beautiful flying displays. Thank you very much for watching it.